Hello, my name is Brett Gillis and I'm a business analyst at Mindstream Analytics. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the data maps application featured in Oracle's Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service as a part of our Top 10 PBCS Feature Series. We're going to be looking at a short intro to the data maps application, including setup and a live demo. Oracle's Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service has a number of new and exciting features to make your business planning process quicker, easier, and more user-friendly. One of these features, of course, is PPCS Data Maps, an application used for pushing data across storage cubes, as well as consolidating storage cubes into an aggregate storage option. Data Maps will dramatically speed up your inter-cube data movements, make them much more dynamic, and replace complicated business rules with simple, robust member selection options. This application is especially useful when aggregating data to an aggregated storage cube, as well as pushing cost center data or revenue data to your P&L or financial consolidations cube. Once defined, Smart Push can be enabled and data maps can be scheduled to run as a job or can be attached to a form where it can run on save. With data maps, planners and process managers will be able to move submitted data with ease to prepare their target cubes for analysis. To access data maps in your PBCS workspace, simply select the data maps application in the navigator. Begin your setup by clicking the create button and give your data map a name. Next, select your source cube as well as your target cube. There are a few options for selecting your source data, including SmartList and a simple member selection interface. You can remove a member or list by selecting the member line item, clicking the cog, and pressing delete. To add a member, click the check mark beside it. You can drill into your hierarchy by clicking the members you're searching through. Click the formula option either on the pre-selected member or in your selection box to access member selections such as level zero descendants or ancestors. Once your source member selection is complete, press OK to return to setup. It is also possible to leverage substitution variables in data maps. In member selection, click the down arrow beside member and choose substitution variables. Select your sub variable and click OK. This will give you the ability to quickly modify or update your data pushes with different members in a dimension. For more information on substitution variables, please refer to our PBCS substitution variables guide. There is also the option to unmap a dimension. This allows the user to push data from one member or list in a cube to another member or list in the target cube. You can begin working with an unmapped dimension by clicking the red X beside it in the target cube. As an example, you can push aggregated data at the top of your source dimension in that cube to a specified local source, which references that cube, in the target. You can see here in the target cube, we select the source to be the source cube. This helps monitor move data and allows more insight to the user. Note, it is also possible to use this unmapped dimension functionality to push data between cubes that have different valid dimensions. Simply push from a certain level in your source dimension to a level zero in the target dimension or dimensions. Additionally, there are a number of options for your data map, including the copying of comments and attachments, as well as excluding dynamically calculated members from the push. Once your setup is complete, click Save and Close. Your data map is now ready for use. If you have updated the underlying hierarchies referenced in your data map, be sure to synchronize the data map by clicking the cog beside it and selecting Synchronize. This will synchronize the data map's planning functionality to the S-based dimensionality. Finally, to push your data, click the cog beside your data map and select Push Data. You can either delete any existing data at the target intersection or add your new data. The push will run much quicker than an equivalent business rule and can also either be launched via Smart Push, which pushes data once you save on an input form, or through the Job Console job scheduling. The last step is to associate it with a form. Note that we will be using a differently set up data map to illustrate this option. To show the flow of data, I have created a source form and a target form. We will associate the data map with the source form. Click the Navigator icon and under Create and Manage, click Forms. Open the form in Edit Mode, then click on the Smart Push tab.
select Actions and click Add Reporting Application Mappings. Select your data map and click OK. For a clean user experience, click Run in Background. If you want the data map to pick up something other than your form context, you can define it by dimension. I'm going to specify two accounts since my target does not have all the source accounts. Click the box to run after save, and then save your form. Let's view the target form first. We see that there are currently no data values entered. Now, let's open the source form and enter some data points. After clicking save, you should get a message that the smart push was successfully submitted. If we go back to our target form, we can now see that the data entered at the source has been pushed to the target. For more information on Oracle's PBCS, other EPM software, or help with any of your data needs, please visit us online at www.mindstreamanalytics.com or visit our social media outlets. For more useful videos, refer to our additional PBCS application videos as a part of our Top 10 PBCS Feature Series. Thank you and happy planning!